couple of people have mentioned to me that they've been having difficulties with a system where white combines bishop c4 with an English attack with bishop b3 and f3 and so on. Well, let's take a look at that. So, if you recall, I recommended the system with knight d7 on the DVD. And, well, I'm still very happy with this. I like it that the knight has the bishop in its sights, but also covers e6. OK, well, let's take a look at this strange combination of the English attack and, um, and bishop c4. You'll recall that in the, in the normal English attack, this bishop stands on f1. So here, well, what's the big difference with the bishop on b3? Well, one thing is white has lost time. It's taken two moves to get to b3. And the other thing is that actually I don't think the bishop is very well placed on b3 because it's actually could be rather vulnerable to be attacked, uh, vulnerable to attack from black's queenside pawns. Um, I've done a bit of research and found um, a few games with this line. I've never actually had to face this myself with black, um, but it, I, I really don't think this system is anything to worry about at all. So, OK, first of all, let's develop. Um, white plays his standard English attack moves. Now, I think the important thing is here to seize the initiative on the queen side. So, I don't like castling here. You could castle, but I think it's much better to get going on the queen side. So, I want to play b5. Unfortunately, that'll be met by knight c6. So, first of all, we play queen c7. I mean, the queen is useful on c7 anyway on the half open file. Um, but this just prepares b5. <clears throat> so, white plays g4. We'll come back to that position in a second and look at uh, an alternative. So, g4, very aggressive. But we shouldn't react to g4. We shouldn't play h6, for example, which will help white to open a file. Instead, we should just continue with b5 and hunt down white's bishop. g5 from white. We're actually following the game Yancharik against Vitachnik from Pardubice 2010. And I think Vitachnik uh, plays this game very well indeed. Of course, he is a great exponent of the Nidorf, always worth watching his games. Now, I don't think we need to play the knight to h5 here because, well, white's attack isn't worth blocking, to be honest. I think this knight can spin round into the centre or onto the, you know, on the, onto the queen side and be very effective. And here, white's played bishop d5. It's possible to, to castle. But then, well, we could castle here. I could also play knight b6. I quite like knight b6 as well. That looks like a decent move. Um, but let's have a look at castles. And then h4, knight e5. And I don't think we need to worry about f4 because the knight will come into g4. And e4 is rather vulnerable. So if king b1, well, let's just play bishop d7. And with the idea b4 and a5, a4, and just hunt down that bishop. OK, well, clearly white got spooked by the idea of that bishop coming under fire, so he played bishop d5. OK, don't panic. Uh, we shouldn't take that, of course. Um, I mean, I think this would lead to disaster. Um, I mean, who knows if black can survive? I'm just not interested. I mean, it looks absolutely horrible, actually. Um, 